Hello， 大家好，我是胡斌。作为伦敦时装周的大使，现在本来应该是在伦敦的各大秀场上，但是因为疫情的原因呢，这次时装周将会用一种非常特殊的形式呈现。所有的品牌呢，都会通过线上的形式展示新品。接下来呢，就请到了英国的本土品牌 p o s t m i s s 的创意总监，我们就用几个问题来采访一下他们。听听他们的故事以及他们对时尚的看法。Hello, everybody. I'm Paul Smith, a designer based in London. This is my studio where I've actually been working every day during this lockdown period, which has been lonely, but also interesting because it's been so creative. 好，那么在你眼中，什么样的时尚才是英伦时尚？ I think British fashion,、uh, um, when I started, was very much about traditional fabrics and a particular way of dressing, like a countryside dressing and city dressing. That was a long time ago,、uh, but now I think it's、uh, hopefully still got some、uh, sense of humour attached to it,、uh, more lateral way of thinking about things, so not always down the、uh, obvious route. Um, we're very blessed with having fantastic art,、uh, art schools and universities in London, and so we we get、uh, students from around the world. And I think that international input from、uh, youth that comes to the universities here is、uh, is helpful as well. 好，那可以带我们去参观一下你的工作室吗？ Uh, the room I'm sitting in is、uh, is. Well, in the year 2000, I moved into this room. <clears throat> so 20 years ago, nearly 20 years ago, it was、uh, December 2000, and it was empty. This room was empty, and now、uh, it's not empty. <laughs> it's very, very full of、uh, lovely fabric books and、uh, and books generally,、um, objects.、Uh, Many, many of the things are sent from fans around the world, so I'm very privileged to get wonderful things like odd things,、uh, beautiful things, paintings,、uh, letters, objects, things that are very kitsch, things that are very beautiful, and、uh, it's so fantastic because I sit at this table with my assistant designers, and we sit around this table. There's eight chairs at the table. And you can just lean back and bring out a bring out a book and say, "Yeah, you love the colours in this、uh, in this particular、uh, graphic design or something." And that can go on to really helping you with the collection. 接下来这个问题就是，可不可以跟我们聊一下这次疫情对品牌的影响，以及需要面对的挑战是什么、uh, ？Covid nineteen、uh, has been. As we all know,、uh, an absolute、uh, awful thing to almost every country in the world. And、uh, I think what it's done for me, before I answer the question about business, is what it's done for me, which is what it's done for a lot of people, which is made us more humble and realised、uh, the importance of health and friendship and camaraderie. And、uh, keeping your feet on the ground, and from a business point of view, it's been absolute nightmare, terrible, because obviously、um, my shops around the world have been closed, and、uh, no income,、uh, but still rents to pay and wages to pay, and、uh, so it's a, it's a very very difficult time.、Uh, we will. Survive it. A lot of people sadly won't survive it. We will survive it, but、uh, um, we'll probably have to be a leaner, a leaner, more alert business than probably were we were a year ago. 那可不可以透露一下新一季的设计方案呢 ？I think what、uh, what I'm obviously working on now remotely, which is very odd because I haven't got any designers in the building. This building's normally got around 180 people in it. And、uh, now there's just me, uh, and uh, and so trying to design the start start work on the autumn winter 2021 collection is proving to be、uh, quite hard because you know I, I've got a, a fabric book in front of me here, but、uh, how can I show it to somebody? I have to take photographs or scan it and send it and doing a colour card. So designing a collection remotely is is 
proving very difficult, but we'll do it for sure. Um, and then the other thing is probably slow down on new shops and put more emphasis on e-commerce because we've had an e-commerce site since 2004 so we were very very ahead of the time with that um, but we'll put more emphasis on that and uh, and just um, I think pace ourselves more and try and get clothes that are delivered more uh, on the season uh, clothes that are a little bit more seasonless still fashion of course uh, a lot of midway clothes uh, and so clothes for 2021 be will be I think uh, less radical more easy to wear and uh, hopefully delivering an overcoat when you need an overcoat rather than the middle of summer 好了那接下来我问一些比较私人的问题你有来过中国吗 你有去过中国的哪一个城市？有没有什么很特殊的回忆跟我们分享一下？ Uh, I've been traveling to China for many, many years. Um, I think my first trips were in the 1980s, which of course China was such a different place then. I remember standing in the road in Beijing with my guide told me there was 12 million bicycles, and, uh, and I was surrounded by people on on ordinary push pedal bicycles uh, and now it's probably 12 million cars so um, I've seen a huge change I went to the famous wall Great Wall of China but not near Beijing way out and, and uh, that was magical standing on a city on top of the wall with Mongolia on side and China with the breeze in my face and uh, um, Chinese food uh, wonderful observing the culture fantastic some of the traditional uh, architecture um, with the enclave um, wonderful so i've been going there for many many years and uh, of course i've seen massive change uh, now with uh, such an enormous quantity of high uh, buildings tall buildings now i'd like what i'd like to say to to all of you in china is that that um, I think uh, individuality and trying to be yourself and trying to have your own personality in this very homogenized world is such a lovely thing. And with Paul Smith, you'll always find that there's always a little sense of humor, there's always a little hidden something under the cuff, a different type of button, um, a surprise. If you open a suit up, often there'll be interesting colors in the lining. So individuality uh, is a lovely thing uh, in a world which has, which has so many people. And uh, definitely Paul Smith can provide that because with Paul Smith, there is somebody called Paul Smith and he has a heart and he's talking to you now. So bless you all and uh, Please take care. Bye.